What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Shinichi. I'm Satoshi. And we are Tabi Eats. Now what better way to cool off than to cool off with some soft serve ice cream. Tokyo is famous for their soft serve and we have a lot of selections. But where do you go? And that's what we're going to show you guys today. And it's perfect because you know what? It is almost 37 degrees Celsius. It is like incredibly hot. The first shop is called Milk in Harajuku. Look, this cute shape. I, I like this round style. Regularly, there is a ridge on the so, soft serve, but this is not. And it's melting, it's so hot. Mmm, It's so refreshing flavor. I thought it's more thicker, but this is lighter than I imagined. But it has good milk flavor. It, I'm just like drinking milk. It's melting, so I have to give to Shinichi. Check this out guys, look, as you can see, it really is melting. It is super hot today. It's like we're in the desert. Well, actually, tropical climate. It's humid. Itadakimasu. Oh, that's actually super, super milk. It's like, it's actually a very creamy, thick, rich milk taste. Yes, it is. Mmm. Mmm. It's cold. Obviously, it's very very nice smooth texture very delicious simple milk taste I have to say there's no hint of vanilla or anything. It's just simply milk, but it's uh, they're using Hokkaido milk So it's good rich creamy milk. I love it today We are going to go to Harajuku, Omotesando, Shinjuku and other places because I want to show you a variety of soft serves. Yes, and we want to show you some of our favorites as well. By the way, right now we are walking along the Omote Sando Street. Um, this is one of the main streets in Harajuku. Um, it's a tree lined street, it's a beautiful shopping street. Um, you can find all the designer boutiques here, like Louis Vuitton, for example. Um, but of course, we come here mostly for the food, and that's a good thing because there's a lot of restaurants here as well. So next shop is located along Maisen Street. Maisen is a tonkatsu shop. Uh, did you see our video, tonkatsu video, our past video? We, we ate tonkatsu sandwich. Yes, and Maisen was one of the places that we went to, right? Yes, yes. but at the time, the shop was closed. Yes, now they're open though, so you guys can go. So the place we're gonna go is called Chavati, and um, it is one of our favorite places. Well, actually, I should say one of my favorite places to come and get uh, tea-flavored soft serve. You guys know I don't drink coffee, but I love tea, and I love anything tea-flavored. And this is one of the best places to get tea-flavored soft serve. Uh, this is located like on the back streets of Omotesando or Harajuku and it's one of our favorite places to get these uh, uh, soft serve ice creams. They specialize in tea flavored ice creams. They have three choices, uva tea, matcha tea and hojicha tea soft serves. They also have a cafe here and it's quite nice if you're hungry and you want light lunch. Anyway, this is the matcha soft serve. It's 480 yen. Let's give it a go. Oh, so creamy and you get that hint of bitterness from the matcha. Actually, it's more than a hint of uh, bitterness. So you really have to like matcha flavor because it is definitely in there. But it is good and it's not that sweet. Mm, not that sweet at all. And don't you guys just love the shape of it? These soft serve cones are so cute. I don't know why they just look so cute. Mine is uba tea soft serve, uba tea. It's the kind of tea. The color is brown and on top they sprinkle a powder of tea leaves, the black tea leaves. So, itadakimasu. What shall I say this flavor? It's like um, some kind of herb, abi, mm, and Spice, spice flavor, some kind of spice. It's not uh, hot spicy, some kind of spice flavor. Mm -hmm. And it's like a incense. All right, time to compare the uva tea. But let's give this a try. Oh my God. 
ice cream and me melting at the same time. This this reminds me of like an herbal tea. Yeah, it's it's like a nice herbal tea that has a very earthy taste with a hint of black tea. Very interesting saucer. Very interesting flavor, I have to say. Hmm. Hmm. This is um. We got this as well as a matcha for matcha. I mean, I love matcha, so I gotta get this. But this shop is famous for this particular uva tea soft serve, which is why we got it. But once again, it's a very unique flavor. Um, I think um, you should give it a try. Okay, so the next ice cream we found in Shinjuku, actually this particular ice cream is called Kremia. It can be found all over Tokyo. And before I explain to you guys, I'm just gonna start eating because my ice cream is, as you can see, it is melting. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Oh my god. Wow. My ice cream is pretty much gone because of the heat, but what makes this uh, Crimea ice cream special is that it is super, super rich milk taste. It's unbelievably rich. And instead of a regular ice cream cone, it is uh, put inside this um, sort of like a cookie slash biscuit uh, cone. And it's just so good. Let me try some of the cone. Mmm. Mmm. That cone, that cookie cone, mmm. It's delicious. It's like... A very thin shortbread cookie almost, but much more delicate than that. Uh, it's delicious. Mm. Once again, you don't have to come to this shop. We, we just found one in Shinjuku, but you can find this all over the city. Just look for Kremia. You guys, if you've never tried this, you're missing out. Yadakimasu. Mm. So rich. What is this? It's so rich, creamy taste. Is this milk? It's like a condensed milk. <laughs> wow. The next place, we came to Nakano, our home base. Yes, Nakano is located on the Chuo line. It's just one station away from Shinjuku. It's a very, very short five minute ride, I think, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, Nakano is a great place to wander around. But once again, today we are here for some amazing soft serve. Here, there is a very famous, wonderful soft serve shop. Here is Zeirichiko, a very famous soft serve shop located underground of Broadway in Nakano. Very famous Broadway and very famous Zeirichiko. Look, this is eight flavors, special large size of soft serve. I don't know the each flavors. Blue, pink, green, brown, yellow, brown, white, pink. <laughs> Itadakimasu. The top one. Strawberry? Mm, I think it's strawberry. It's good. The firmness is perfect. A little bit cool. thick, a bit thick. Can you see? Can you see? It's very thick. Oh, looks nice. Mm, good. White pot. Mm, it must be milk. I think this is coffee. The color is coffee, light brown. Mm, yes, it's coffee. And the yellow part. Banana. 
Mm. I love this firmness. It's very refreshing taste. That there are so many people um, eating this soft sub here. All right, guys. You know what? I'm gonna start off with where uh, Satoshi uh, uh, ended. Um, this is the brown part, and I'm thinking maybe this is chocolate or coffee. Chocolate. Oh, super good. Super good chocolate. It has like a multi flavor, and the green part is definitely matcha. This is matcha green tea. Oh, surprising how it has a really nice matcha flavor. Okay, let's go for this pink layer. I think this is a peach or strawberry. Peach. Oh yeah, that's like super fruity. It's so good. And then the blue part is definitely lamune, which is like a Japanese soda. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is lamune. Yeah, that's lamune. It didn't taste much like lamune though. Um, okay. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna like, like, like devour this thing. Okay. So this is a strawberry. Ah, it's like strawberry milk. It's like strawberry milk. This is the milk. No, it's vanilla. This is vanilla flavor. And the third layer is cafe au lait. Yeah, coffee flavor. I love coffee flavor, but I can't really take coffee. And then definitely, I want to try the banana. The banana right here. Ooh, I got some of the chocolate with the banana. So it's like chocolate covered bananas. I'm going to do that again. Chocolate covered bananas right here. Chocolate covered bananas. Mm. Oh yeah, chocolate covered bananas. That's amazing. Should we try chocolate matcha? I wonder if that works. Chocolate matcha. Hmm. Mm, much is better on its own. <laughs> Chocolate overpowered. Uh, just to let you guys know, this is the extra large uh, size. This is 600 yen. Includes all eight flavors, and um, they also have two more flavors: the medium as well as the small. I think the medium, medium one, you can choose up to three flavors, and the small one, I think, it's just one single flavor. But as you can see, this place is super, super popular. It's called Daily Chico. Once again, located in Nakano Broadway on the basement floor. Uh, this floor has so much good stuff to eat. Like they have a really good nikuman shop. They have like good karaoke. They have like a whole bunch of stuff. So. You definitely want to check this place out. Anyway. Hurry, hurry, hurry. It's melting. Okay, we, we, got, we got to eat this stuff. We, we got to eat this. Okay, let's finish this up. You know what? We found a good way to eat this before it melts. You just like scoop all the way from the bottom to the top like this. You combine all the flavors. Of course, you're not, you're not going to get the individual flavors, but it's not bad. Oh, I feel cold because I ate all. Good job. I like this call. Mm. Now we are at Koenji. We are going to go to our favorite cafe. Yes, we're gonna go to a place called Coffee Cone. If you guys have been with us for a while, you know this is one of our favorite places to visit when we're around this area. Um, by the way, Koenji is a bohemian town that's really, really popular with young people and lots of street food, lots of uh, vintage shops, especially clothing clothing stores, a lot of uh, used clothing stores. And uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, I really recommend you guys visit this place. And if you guys like food, this place also has a lot of good street food. Uh, we did a dedicated video on Koenji street food. And if you missed that video, go check it out by clicking right up there. Here we are, here we are at Coffee Cone. Guys, here we are once again at Coffee Cone in Koenji, one of our favorite places to chill in this part of town. Uh, this place is famous for their coffee cones. Basically, it's coffee, matcha, hojicha, you know, teas and coffees served inside handmade ice cream cones. During the summer, they have these uh, soft serve ice creams. Today, we got something that's very, very special. This is 680 yen. This is the uh, car caramel soft serve in this very, very fancy ice cream cone. It is a uh, chocolate ice cream cone um, that has uh, these uh, sprinkles on top. Uh, the inside is coated with organic chocolate. Ooh, okay. Mm. Hmm. Wow, this is like, um, this is like, um, good quality caramel but in ice cream form in saucer form it's kind of amazing guys 
it's super creamy. It has that nice caramel burnt like sugar flavor. You guys see those swirls inside? Those caramel swirls inside the caramel soft serve. It is so decadent. If you guys like caramel, oh my god. Like this is like gonna be your favorite thing you put into your mouth in Tokyo. <laughs> mm. It's a cheese stick. It's a crispy cheese stick. How interesting. It's a savory cheese stick inside this uh, sweet dessert, which actually adds a really nice contrast and kind of like breaks up the monotony of sweetness. Mmm, that's actually very, very delicious. Mmm, mmm, that's nice. And it's kind of like um, I'm simply dipping a biscuit, a sweet biscuit, inside a uh, caramel soft serve. It's kind of like an ice cream sandwich, but dipping style. Mmm. Wow. Wow. Mmm. Very nice caramel flavor. So rich, so creamy texture, and unbelievably, it's caramel. <laughs> I put put soft serve on top. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. It has a little bit of saltiness, so it becomes soft caramel. You like soft caramel, yeah? I love that. This is used for coffee corn, the specialty of this shop. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's very thick chocolate covered corn. Look at this size, this thickness. It's really good chocolate. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So satisfied. This is exciting. Possibly the most exciting soft serve we've eaten the entire day. Check it out. This is a soft serve strawberry vanilla flavored soft serve. And right on top of it is something called Age Pan, which is a type of deep fried bread that used to be eaten in the olden days in elementary school. And this one is deep fried, covered with uh, sugar, uh, kinako powder, which is roasted soybeans, and matcha powder. So it's already melting, so I'm gonna get right into it. Strawberry vanilla swirl. Good. Time to go into my mouth. Mm. Mm. That tastes so fresh. I was not expecting that. I was expecting more like an ice creamy flavor, but this one is actually fresh tasting like I mean like fresh strawberries. Oh, this is like strawberries and cream. Strawberries and cream. Oh, that's good. That is so good. Uh, how does one go about eating this? <laughs> Don't breathe in when you're biting into this because you got a lot of powder on the top. That's real matcha powder on the top. Real. Mm. And it's warm. Outside it's crispy, inside it's doughy and fluffy. Kind of reminds me of like malasadas. Mm. <laughs> So rich, so thick strawberry milk. I'm eating like a real strawberry. And I like this style. Mmm, mm, the texture is wonderful. Sakutto. Outside is sakutto. Okay, so we have completed all five soft serve from five different places. Actually, we had more than five to be honest with you, right? Because mm -hmm. we had two in some places, we had <laughs> yes. two here. Um, so it's time to choose our favorite, if that's even possible. Uh, maybe maybe choose like a couple favorites, like two favorites. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. what do you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One is a caramel soft sub of this coffee corn. That it's was good. so rich. Mm -hmm. And another one is hmm, the matcha one. The matcha one. Matcha one. Uh, oh, the matcha. Mm -hmm. The second place we second went to. Place. Okay, that was good too. Now, um, before I, m I make my decision, mm -hmm. I just want to say that all the places we went to 
are good. We chose really good places. Well, mostly because they're our favorite places. Uh, there are a couple that it was the first time we tried, but um, I gotta say, and this is totally honest, not being biased, my favorite one has to be from Coffee Cone as well, but it's not the caramel. I like the caramel one, but the it's the one, one with the bread on top. <laughs> oh my God, I want one like right now. I'm, I'm stuffed right now, but I can eat one right now. It is that good and you can combine it with different flavors of ice cream or different flavored breads oh my god it is not even a bread it's more like a like a hybrid bread slash malasala slash donut it is just beyond your dreams like it's that good for me so that's my number one my second favorite has to be crimea Crimea oh, is pretty hard to beat when it comes to, uh, you know, vanilla ice cream. That's like beyond vanilla. You know, once again, I'm going to use that word beyond, but it's beyond whatever you've uh, know vanilla to be. It is way creamier, way richer, and just way more decadent than your typical vanilla soft serve. Well, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Uh, leave your comments down below. And if you are new to our channel, we would love it if you subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you on next food adventure. Bye bye.